Hey Virgo, this is Crystal Lee with We Are Magic. Thank you for tuning into my channel. If you have not yet, please subscribe and click the notification bell so you can stay up to date on the videos I post. All right, Virgo. I have already channeled your energies. I have shuffled the cards, your oracle cards. I, I like to do it on camera um, to show that I have no idea what's about to pop out, okay? I'm with y'all, I do this with you guys. Um, this is a quick August 2020 energy update reading to see what we can expect. Um, right now I am going to channel in what angels, ancestors, and oracles are working with Virgo for the month of August 2020. Thank you, Virgo. Thank you, Spirit, for helping me. What energies are working with Virgo for August 2020? Thank you, Spirit. What energies are working with Virgo August 2020? Okay. We have Shield Maiden. Make plans and focus. It's the same energy. We're all going through the same energies this month. It's crazy how the same cards keep popping up. Oh, you got Mother Earth, Virgo. Oh, I have a friend who's a Virgo. She's going to love this. Feel loved and comforted. Look at that, Corey. Don't burn up my card, Sage. I'm not Mother. I'm not the Mother. Okay. Love Mother Earth. <laughs> love her, love her, love her. Okay, let me read Shield Maiden to you guys. <clears throat> Get my voice ready. Ready? And I'll bring Shield Maiden up to you. Have a plan or strategy in place before moving forward. Take us some time to assess what your next steps will be, Virgo. All great warriors have a plan. You are a sensitive being, and if you are not prepared for the task you take on, you could end up feeling exposed and helpless. The ancestor guidance that is coming to you now is a reminder that you have a warrior's heart and that you have it within you to be more prepared and focused than you have been recently. So, have a strategy in place and then let your guides support you as you move forward. Good Virgo. And then we have Mama Earth, AKA Holy Spirit. Yes. Allow yourself to be cherished. Mother Earth is protecting you, Virgo, with a shield of love and light. Good. I'm so excited for you, Virgo. You may have felt overwhelmed or out of control emotionally and recently but you are now moving back to your natural center and that will bring you to a place of clarity and openness. If you have felt ungrounded, know that Mother Earth is here to root you and help you regain your sense of strength. You may not feel like a child, but in the eyes of the divine, you are a child of light and it's important you know that and feel loved, duh, it's mama. If you've had challenges with your mother or being a mother yourself, know that the energies of mother healing are with you to help clear any ancestral blockages that are preventing you from making this sacred love connection. You are being guided to make choices that are based on love, Virgo. Aww. I love my Virgos. Okay, Virgo. Good energy. All right. What messages from tarot can Vir Virgo expect for the month of August 2020? That was beautiful. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Spirit. Virgo, August 2020, what to expect? What's the current situation with Virgo? What's the obstacle with Virgo? And what's the advice for Virgo? My Virgo friend is messaging me right now. She has no idea I'm doing this. But she's an intuitive little shaman, so she must feel something. All right. Thank you, spirit. Ooh. Okay. Whew. We'll cut these. Okay. Ready? 
All right, Virgo, how are you stepping into August 2020? You are stepping in as the King of Swords. What is going on? You just seen me cut. Okay. Um, what obstacles are you going to have to overcome during the month of August 2020? You have Queen of Wands. Okay, this is the energy you have to step into, Virgo. We can't be lackadaisical. I call this... This is my multitasker card. This is the, that, I won't call her the B word, but she's that woman. You understand what I'm saying? Like this woman, Queen of Wands. Wands represents fire, energy, um, passion, initiative, career, whatever you're working on, Virgo. This is the obstacle you have to overcome, meaning you got to face whatever it is you have to do. Go for it. And what is the advice you're giving Virgo for August 2020? Oh, you're the magician, Virgo. Look at that. All right, Virgo. That's a beautiful reading. All right, you're going into August with a cool head. You got some plans going on. You're working on some things. And the obstacle is to keep that passion, keep that drive. Um, Queen of Wands, you know, y'all may be very busy. So she's a very busy woman. Like I said, she's a career woman. She's the jack of all trades. She wears many hats. So she works full-time job, takes care of her home, takes care of side jobs, you know, volunteers. She's this person. So that's your obstacle this month. You're going to be busy this month for Sorry. And you know why you want me to be busy? Because you are the magician. All right. You're magic, baby. You are the alchemist of your life, Virgo. And my friend really needs to see this because I'm, she's a shaman and she needs to get over herself. Um, but yeah, um, Corey, this is your reading apparently. So yeah, I called you out. It is what it is. But <laughs> yes, um, for all my Virgos, this is your overall theme. Um, make plans and focus. Know that you're supported by Mother Earth. Uh, maybe you want to take herbalism. Maybe you want to go into a spiritual practice. Something is going on spiritually related with you guys. Um, and that's where you need to focus on this month. You know, a lot of energies, a lot of huge shifts going on right now with all the shenanigans going on. So, um, Virgo, this is a beautiful reading. I... If this is your only obstacle is just pushing yourself to have the passion to do what you need to do to make this happen. All right, Virgo. Um, I'm not picking up any more messages, so this is really good. If you resonate with this reading, please let me know down in the comments. And you guys take care. And I told you it was going to be a quick one. So <laughs> y'all have a great August. So it looks like y'all are going to be doing good things. Take care.